underhand tactics have been the hot topic at this year's Olympic Games after several Russian teams, including its weightlifters, were banned from competing in the wake of a widespread doping scandal. But cheating is nothing new in the Olympics. Below, we've listed some of the most memorable cheating scandals in the history of the Games. From identity theft to drinking on the job, here are 15 athletes who have been caught cheating over the years. Berlin, 1936. Dora Radjan came fourth in the women's high jump at the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin, and broke the world high jump record in 1939 during the European Athletics Championships. There was just one problem Dora was raised female, but was actually born a man. When officials found out, she was forced to return her medals, had her world records tripped, and changed her name to Heinrich. Grenoble, 1968. The East German women's luge team were hugely successful at the 1968 Winter Olympics in Grenoble. Artron and Lynn won gold, while her teammates came in second and fourth. Fellow competitors became suspicious after the team would always turn up right before their round, and leave almost immediately after. As it turned out, the team were heating the rails of their sleds artificially just before the race, to reduce friction against the ice. The team was disqualified and returned its medals. Montreal, 1976. Anya Zenko went up against Team GB in the 1976 Montreal Games, but the British team complained that one of his points was won without contact being made. In fencing, the tip of the sword must be flattened with a force of 750 grams to complete the circuit. Anya Zenko's sword had been modified so he could complete the circuit without making contact. He was disqualified for cheating, stripped of his previous medals, and banned from competing in the future. Los Angeles, 1984. Madeline de Jesus suffered a hamstring injury during her long jump attempt at the Los Angeles Games. Fearing she couldn't compete in the 4x400 meters relay in the next round, she thought of a plan. Her twin sister, Margaret, was also an athlete and watching Madeline in the audience. The pair swapped places for the next round, giving the Puerto Rican team an advantage. When Madeline's coach found out, he withdrew the entire team from the race. Seoul, 1988. Johnson won gold in the men's 100m sprint, breaking a world record in the process. Unfortunately, he tested positive for steroids shortly after the race. Though he was stripped of his medal, he was allowed to compete in future until he was caught using again in 1993. After this, he was banned for life. Atlanta, 1996. Michelle Smith made history as the first Irish woman to win a gold medal in 1996, picking up three gold medals and a bronze medal at the Atlanta Games. It was later discovered that she'd used alcohol to tamper with her urine sample to avoid a positive result in her drug test. She was allowed to keep her medals. Sydney, 2000. Marion Jones had a successful year at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, winning two bronze and three gold medals. She became the first woman to win that many in the track and field categories in a single games. Jones denied using steroids, passing all her drug tests during the Olympics, but in 2007 admitted to using steroids while ahead of the Sydney Games. She was stripped of her medals, slapped with a two-year ban from competing, and sentenced to six months in prison for lying to federal prosecutors investigating the use of performance-enhancing substances. London, 2012. Losing on purpose is rare, but it does happen. 
eight women badminton players were booed off their pitches in the 2012 London Olympics after players regularly served into the net or hit wide on purpose in order to lose and play weaker teams in the next round. Two teams from South Korea and one each from China and Indonesia were disqualified and charged with abusing and demeaning the sport of badminton. London, 2012. Cameron van der Berg won gold and broke a world record in the 100m breaststroke finals at the London Olympics, but later admitted to taking extra dolphin kicks to propel himself further than his rivals. In the breaststroke category, swimmers are only allowed one kick, but van der Berg used three. He was allowed to keep his medal, but competitors are now filmed underwater to make sure they don't cheat. St. Louis, 1904. Fred Lors won the men's marathon in the 1904 St. Louis Olympics with a time of 3 hours and 13 minutes, roughly 15 minutes ahead of his nearest rival. He had already had his photograph taken with Alice Roosevelt, the president's daughter, and was preparing for the medal ceremony before anyone realized he had missed out almost half of the race. Lors withdrew from the race after 9 miles and was driven a further 11 by his trainer. When the car broke down, he continued on foot to the stadium, where the crowd greeted him as a winner. He decided to go along with it, later claiming it was a practical joke. Tokyo, 1964. Gender testing was introduced in the 1964 Tokyo Games, causing bronze medal winning sprinter Wachlowiczka to be stripped of her titles. Officials at the Games reclaimed Poland's bronze in the 4x100 m relay after claiming the sprinter had one chromosome too many. Mexico City, 1968. 1968 was the first year athletes were required to take a drug test before the Olympic Games. Modern pentathlete Hans Gunnar Liljenwall had to return the bronze medal he won in the shooting category after drug testing was introduced for the first time at the Mexico City Games, but he hadn't taken steroids. The Swedish athlete became the first person to fail a drug test at the Olympics after drinking two beers to study his nerves before the round. Sydney, 2000. Gymnasts are notoriously young, and some countries have entered underage athletes in order to win. The apparent 17-year-old athlete was central to the Chinese women's team winning bronze in Sydney, but her age seems suspicious to judges. Official paperwork suggested Feng Xiao was born in 1983, but where she had coached in China, she had put 1986 as her year of birth, which would make her 14. China was forced to give up its team's bronze medal as a result. Los Angeles, 1932. Sandstrom officially finished second in the Los Angeles Olympics, but a judge later ruled that he was making clicking noises to encourage his horse illegally. Sandstrom denied the allegation, arguing that the noise came from his leather boots squeaking. The judges didn't buy it, and Sandstrom was demoted to last place. Seoul, 1988. South Korean light middleweight contender Park Si-hun was nearly knocked out twice and threatened with disqualification for not defending himself properly in a match against US rival Roy Jones Jr., so imagine the audience's shock when Si-hun was crowned the winner by the judges. An investigation later found that three of the five judges, who had scored in Si Hun's favor had been wined and dined by Korean officials in the run-up to the event. The Korean boxer was not blamed for the outcome, but the judges were suspended. 